hello there hello family welcome back to my channel this is amazing this too is amazing if you're a new person here i warmly welcome you i say i come back to you and if you are an old person thank you very much for coming back today we are making this stew this all-purpose stew for the easter the easter is right at the corner you will love it this is all purpose okay so with this stew we are having some chicken here this is a full chicken that i have cleaned washed and cut into pieces and also this is the um, tomatoes that i'm using this tomato pasta tomato that i'm using you know that one it's already have some spices in it and these are the bell peppers that i'm using for my stew and i also have some um, thick tomatoes here that's tomato paste that i have this day um, condensed one that I'll be using. I have some curry, curry um, flour leaves here and also some ginger paste that I want to add to my stew. This is the garlic paste that I will be adding and some salt to taste. I, With this recipe that I'm using, I'm using my own um, spices. These are the um, spices that i'll be blending to add to it for the spices you can limit it okay i have some gloves in here i have some um with the abba anna seed and all the spices the rosemary and everything these are the bay leaves that i'll be adding for this local spice i made it on the channel so if you want to see how i prepare this um chicken spices i will link the link below okay so you can check for it so this is also made so i have the recipe here and as i said they are all made by me and you love the spices i also have um, some onions here that i'll be adding to the stew this stew is an all-purpose stew so you have it for the season and also oil that we're going to use so we are going to prepare our chicken here this is a full chicken that i washed nicely that i'm going to use so if you don't um want the full chicken can you decide to use the half chicken or whatever <laughs> that you you have okay it's your stew so i've added the chicken spices to it and um i'm just going to stir everything nicely so with the homemade spices um i will link the link below so you can check for it and you can just decide to maybe add or subtract any of the um, ingredient that you don't like so i've just added my curry leaves and the ginger to the spices and i'm adding a little bit of um, salt and also some water to it and this is going right on the stove okay we're going to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes on fire so whilst it's on the, on the stove cooking, I'm going to prepare to grill my um, bell peppers, my red bell peppers. Um, I want to grill this just to add um, some flavor to my stew, but you can skip this um, part if you don't want to grill it, okay? So it gives you that nice, beautiful dark color um, color that you you, you you love in your stew so this is how i took out all the um, seed from the bell pepper you just take the you just use some small kitchen knife and just um, take out that uh, green um, leaf in there or, and all the seed you just pick them out so i'll just take it into the oven and also bake it also for some time for about 15 minutes depending on how high your oven is so you can see my chicken is already done okay i cook this on a high heat so about 15 minutes time my chicken is already done beautifully cooked and the taste is mm, you don't have <laughs> i'm not going to tell you you just try it okay so i've just taken everything and this is the stock that was left i'll be adding it to my stew and you can see our chicken is nicely done um i want to tell you all thank you very much for your support and for all those who have subscribed thank you very much and for sharing the video keep on supporting us i appreciate your 
help a lot so i already have that that's the garlic that remained when i grated the garlic i did not blend it the garlic that i'll be adding to the stew i did not blend it so i'm just using the remaining ones to blend with my um peppers and my um my natural spices so with the natural spices you have to be careful with it when you, you you are adding it to it you have to know the amount the quantities because if you add the rosemary the gloves the onion seed and everything together you know if you don't take it it will become a little bit bitter so please be careful when you are adding all these spices to it and i'm um, blending it with my condensed um tomato paste here because i just want it to be together that's why i'm just blending it together and it gives it gives it also nice beautiful color that you see here so i'm just blending it look at this this is very very beautiful and i like the way um the texture is so we're going to use this one to just prepare our stew and i'm frying my chicken if you don't want to fry your chicken in the hot oil like this you can decide to um, either grill it or also um, air fry it that's perfect normally um, I air fry it but with this recipe I decided to grill um, uh, just fry it in oil so if you don't want to fry it in oil just grill it in your oven for maybe 20 minutes or because look at this this is why I decided to fry it in the oil so you just take it out on a tissue paper to just drain out the excess oil for health reasons but if you are concerned with the oil please do use the air fryer i use it a lot and i like it i love it i'll be posting some recipes on on, on my channel how i use the air fryer to prepare my healthy foods okay so i have some olive oil on fire here and i'm just adding my blended tomatoes and all the other ingredients in right now so with this recipe you can serve your your, your stew with rice so this is a one-stop stew for the easter break okay so you don't need to prepare um stew for your yam your rice your plantain just this is a one-stop stew okay so you just prepare this one and it can serve you for the rest of the season <laughs> okay for the easter season it can really serve you i love this too okay and if you take your time to prepare it you can prepare it in a very large quantity and you can use it to serve your white rice or your um your cassava even if you want to serve it with your cassava you can serve it or your plantain or yam or even boiled um potatoes okay so it's a one-stop stew so i've added all my tomatoes in and i'm going to let this be on fire for about 15 minutes okay on a low heat so that it will it will really simmer and cook well so you can see look at us this has been on fire cooked well nicely so now i'm adding my onions to it and my bell um, bay leaves to it and look at this and so this is the time that i add my garlic to my stew because um it gives that garlic uh, flavor and i love it i don't want the flavor to disappear from my stew and i've just added my stew spices to it and also the um the chicken broth or stock i've added it to it and i'm just going to allow it to simmer for about five minutes okay because just for the onions and i added the onions to it later also because i want the onions flavor in my stew whether i'm serving it with yam or rice or whatever okay so you see this have been on fire for five minutes and oh god this is tasty so our our food our our stew is already done you can serve this with everything that you want thank you very much i thank you okay so i'm um, i would link the i'll leave the link of the spices the homemade spices you love it below okay so as you can see serve this this easter with your yam or with your plantain or with your rice and let's chat later okay so 
thank you very much for watching i like you i love you and i thank you for all your support okay so till next time bye